<laughs> kind of a friendly little bugger. Alright guys, Papa Pepper at the Abundant Harvest Homestead once again. Today I want to talk to you about a $1,600 raccoon. And I'm not selling raccoons, I'm not buying raccoons, I'm not even capturing raccoons. But I want to share with you a story from about two years ago on Steemit where because I found one baby raccoon, I was able to generate $1,600. And I'm going to tell you just how I did it. So encountered a baby raccoon and at the time I was using whatever I did in my life to um to create some sort of revenue. I was turning into some sort of content that I could share online. This is why I started up my YouTube channel. This is why I um got online was to share things on Steemit. And the cool thing about it is it's free to sign up. You sign up and anyone can potentially make money or cryptocurrency doing it. Um, on YouTube, you have to get a certain number of watch time, a certain number of followers. On Steemit, it was just an open door. The second you start posting or commenting, you could actually start making money, and so I did. So anytime I encountered an animal at the time, I was doing two series. The one was called The Wild Man's Wild Friends, and the other one was called Close to the Creatures. So... I would photograph these creatures that I would encounter, and then I would also make a video. Here's the video on the screen behind me, and then here was the, there we go, back to the top. Here was the photo post close to the creatures with Papa. Okay, so I would share, you know, if I encountered an animal, I'd make a photo shoot out of it and a video out of it from that one animal I encountered. I kind of have two opportunities. The cool thing was when I shared my photo shoot, and, you know, here it is hiding in the grass. I added a little bit of information about it, shared a little bit about the uh, the backstory, how they can, you know, live for a long time. But in the wild, they only live for about two or three years because so many of them get killed by people or vehicles. Got some cute little, cute little photos of this guy, right? Just shared them. And the cool thing is with the people who upvoted, and it's based on how much steam power they had, uh, each day on Steemit, a certain amount of cryptocurrency is generated. Um, you can kind of think of it almost as stock. And then based on how people vote or like things in the community, it determines where that goes. So with a certain amount of steam power, people could kind of allocate a certain amount of the daily amount of steam to be put towards my post. So at the time, I did that. And I would always take these photos too. You know, as always, I'm Papa Pepper and here's the proof. I would show that my work was original. Because there are people who plagiarize, people who just take photos off the internet and share them to try to get paid. But, and then I have the, you know, this post contains 100% original Papa Pepper writing and images. But if you look right here, the post payout, it actually says $663.64. Now of that, $614.01 was for the author, that was me, and then $49.64 worth of steam and steam power at the time was for the curators. So that means if I would have cashed out the money that this particular post generated right away, it would have been six hundred and fourteen dollars and one cent. Now when we look and I mean I know what you're thinking, that sounds absolutely insane, too good to be true, right? I agree. But I'm glad it was true and I'm glad that I didn't just scoff or mock it and be like, oh well, that sounds ridiculous, I'm not even gonna try. Because because I tried this post here put over $600 worth of steam in my pocket. And then my other one, the video, okay, I had a cover photo here, share a little bit, and I, you know, pointed out sometimes I, you know, encounter mammals too. I know a lot of people know me for snakes or different reptiles. I had to share a little bit about it, give a little bit of background information on it. And then I had my video. Um, the video's here. I don't know if it'll play right now. I'm a little bit far from my Wi-Fi. But anyway, had the video, and I'll link it in the card here. Had the proof photo that I did it. And this one paid out at $988.12. Now, again, 
A portion of that, $68.38, went towards the curators, which was the people who upvoted my post. You can click on the uh, votes here and the Joe Hell Files, Official Fuzzy, Hospit Bank, Fuzzy Vest, Team Steam, Canadian, Canadian Coconut, and Rocky V. Cellier, you know, others had voted on that. And because of the amount of steam power that they had when they voted, of these 642 votes, it actually paid out at $988, which the portion of that that went to my wallet on Steam it was $919.75. So total, these two posts were able to generate $1,651.76, of which $1,533.76 um, or so went to my wallet, and then uh, 113 went to... Uh, 113 and two cents or something like that went to the uh, curators. So I kind of share this story for a couple of reasons. Number one, I still have a trailer at the end of my videos which talks about, you know, steamit.com. Don't post for free. Um, I've never been on Facebook, but most people never make anything on Facebook. I've never been on Reddit, but most people never make anything on Reddit. Steamit kind of had this carrot dangling out in front of my face. So I came online figured I would share some stuff, I would check it out and test the validity of it. I did, and it proved itself to be, you know, a worthwhile investment of my time. Now, it's not common for people to make, you know, $1,500 off of two posts on Steemit. There's been times when people have made over $10,000 on a single post. There's been times people have made cents or nothing on a single post. Just like many things in life, it ebbs and flows and it fluctuates. Um, Steam has been as low as seven cents, and it's been worth multiple dollars. So it pay, you got to kind of be in the right place at the right time. But at that time, I was. So if you think about that too, um, just as an example, this is what sixteen hundred dollars, one thousand six hundred bucks worth of twenties looks like. That's a pretty good stack of cash to be able to hang on to. Now remember, you know, like a hundred bucks worth of that went to the curators, so there was only fifteen hundred dollars that actually was able to be put into my pocket because of these two posts. But like I said, I'm glad that when I heard about it, I tested it out. I'm glad that I was able to invest my time and effort into building an audience, building a following, interacting with people, and have people support what I was up to. Now, not everyone's going to encounter a baby raccoon where they're at. Not everyone may be able to you know, take some nice pictures of it. These aren't even, you know, incredibly great. That's cute. I like that one there. You know, that's a pretty good angle on it. A nice, a nice look a lot of people may not get. But it was very difficult to take good pictures of, too. Um, I will say that. And then the Wild Man's Wild Friends, you know, video. It's just a, a couple minutes of me trying to share quickly in, like, two to five minutes just a little bit about these animals. But people were really liking them. It was something that a lot of people weren't doing themselves, and um, when I did it, they enjoyed it. They appreciated it. So it was kind of cool to see. I will link the actual video for this one in the description, but this is one of the reasons why I encourage people not to post for free. I encourage people to try to find a way to monetize their time and their effort. I would sometimes, you know, tongue-in-cheek make the joke that I don't do anything for free, meaning, you know, if I'm cooking the family breakfast, I'm going to generate some content out of that. I'm going to you know, share a recipe or, or take some photos and, you know, share it somehow in a way that could potentially benefit us. Um, the more different things outside the normal box of punching a clock and working for a wage that we can do as people to uh, take care of some of the financial burden that our families have, some of the financial obligations that we have as people living on this earth, then the easier it's going to be for us to either have access to bless others or just to kind of lighten that financial load and free us up a little bit to do the things that we really want to do, which for us here is to interact with our family, you know, for me to be with my wife and children. So I just wanted to share that quickly. $1,600 raccoon. Um, like I said, it doesn't always work out that way, but I am glad that two years ago, you know, I was able to do this. My posts these days on Steam often make about 2 to $10, and I'll share a couple a day usually. Uh, about six days a week, but um, you know, it's still doing something, and it's still a, a great place, a great community, and I look forward to the future because there's a lot of potential, and I think as more people find out about it, 
as more people um, choose to interact in this way and invest their time online in this way, it creates things in a whole different level where you're not just wasting your time. You're not just spending your time, but you're actually investing your time. So I share that with you guys. Appreciate it. Um, everyone who checks out these videos and um, hopefully you like that story. I've got a couple other ones I want to share and a special shout out to Mr. Brian Phobos for kind of helping me figure out how to shoot a video like this because I'm technological roadkill. So this is kind of above what I'm normally able to do. But now I kind of stepped up my game a little bit as I take things more seriously and try to gain new, um, what do you call it, talents, new skills. Um, that's what I'm working on. So, all right, guys, Papa out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.